Hey everyone, Professor Ackerman here. I'm going to show you a quick demo of how you can collect data really easily within Arduino uh, using serial communication to your computer and you can pipe the data straight into Excel. Um, so in this example I've got a photoresistor circuit with a typical photoresistor like the one that I got in this Elegoo Arduino kit. Uh, 10 kilo ohm uh, fixed resistor right there between the photoresistor and ground. Um, I've got a positive 5 volts wire on this side of the photoresistor and I'm reading relative to the ground end of this 10 kilo ohm resistor. I'm reading on pin A0 right there. So essentially we're reading the voltage drop across the fixed 10 kilo ohm resistor. Um, and because the photoresistor has a lower resistance when there's more light, we'll see a bigger voltage value uh, when there's more light shining on the photoresistor and a smaller one when there's less light. So let's go ahead and I've got the circuit built. I'm going to write the Arduino code and show you how to get the data into Excel uh, just as a quick data logging demo. Okay, so that is what the circuit looks like. Um, let's go over to Arduino software. I'm going to go ahead and declare an integer. Let's call it voltage pin. Set that as a zero. Just get that as a global variable. I'm going to call this uh, photo resistor. Okay, so I've got my pin A0 and photoresistor value to store the voltage reading on there. I do have to start up the serial monitor. So serial.begin, parentheses, I'll stick with 9600 here as our default value. Okay, now I could also declare a pin mode for pin A0 if I want to. Um, however, that's unnecessary because all of the uh, analog input pins in the Arduino, and really all the pins are inputs by default. And so this is uh, redundant. I don't actually need this, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. But conceptually, I want to make sure the voltage pin is an input, but it's configured by default. Awesome. So that's all I need in my void setup. Okay, now in the void loop, I'm going to go ahead and read the voltage pin A0. So we're going to do that by declaring photoresistor value. I'm going to store use that variable to store it. And I'm going to do analog read because it's an analog sensor. And I'm going to analog read the pin, voltage pin, which is just A0. Awesome. So I'm reading in that value. And then what I want to do is I want to print that value with uh, serial.print. Now, usually I do serial.println because, you know, that's kind of the most direct way to serial.print. It will print on the current line and the LN says go to the next line. It's sort of like typing and then pressing the enter button to go to the next line. That's what the LN does. So really useful. That's usually how I do it. Um, and let's just test this, see how it's working. See if there's any bugs. Okay, well it's looking good so far. So I'm gonna go up here to the serial monitor, just verify the code's working. We've got a bunch of data streaming in looking good so far. When you're working with the serial monitor, a couple of cool tips is you can uncheck this auto scroll option right there. And now I can actually go around and look at the data. Unfortunately, in the current version of Arduino, you can't uh, just select all the data from the serial monitor. I used to just do control A, control C and paste it. Um, but the new version doesn't allow that. And so that's why we're going to connect it to Excel so we can capture that data. Um, but yeah, I can also clear it with this button. Um, so unchecking auto scroll can be kind of useful. You see that bar moving up and down. Clearing the data is also useful. Let's leave it on auto scroll. Look good so far. Okay. Um, but what I want to do is show you how you can collect multiple data points because often you're collecting more than just one data point. Um, and so what I'm going to do is format the data as a comma separated variable format, which means that I'm going to just add multiple serial.print statements with a comma in between them. So I'll leave this serial.print serial.println for the photoresistor value, but I'm actually going to just print, um, why don't we just print the time, the timestamp, or the number of milliseconds. I'm just going to do a serial.print statement without the ln on it. That's going to print on the same line. So I can put multiple data points on the same line, and then when I'm done with the data on that line, I'll use the serial.print ln statement to end that line. So here I'm just going to print out the current time in milliseconds by using the millis function. This gives me an unsigned long value, pretty big value, but it'll basically give me the uh, timestamp of the data uh, as the Arduino sees it because this is measuring number of milliseconds since the code starts running. I'm then going to separate the data, the time, by the actual analog read value. 
And I'm going to separate that with a comma, like so. And then put a semicolon there. So basically, I'm printing out one piece of data with a print statement. So that print, it's the time in milliseconds. The comma just separates the time from the photoresistor value. And the show that print ln statement will print out the last value I want on that line and then go to the next line. So that's looking good. Upload that. Just verify the code's working. Okay, cool. Now, if I check auto scroll, we can see some interesting things here. Um, it looks like it's trying to print every roughly 10 milliseconds here, 3352 to 3362, and then 3374, and then 3384. You notice it is roughly every 10 milliseconds, but it's not exact. You, it's hard to get precise timing with the serial that print statement. Um, so usually, you know, roughly 10 to 20 milliseconds is usually pretty achievable. Um, we'd have to do some other stuff like a change the baud rate and mess around with timing. But for simplicity, this will work great. I don't need to go much faster than I'd say 50 milliseconds here. Um, so we can just put a delay of 50 just to make sure they'll get good consistent readings and the code isn't running needlessly fast. Okay, so that's looking good. I've got time in milliseconds. Let's check auto scroll. Time in milliseconds and then the photoresistor value. We can see here that as I cover that, it does change. You can take a look. I'll go ahead and show you the circuit down here. This is our photoresistor. So as I cover that, it should become a smaller value because it gets darker. And then when I uh, uncover it, I get more light, the value goes up. And I can even shine my phone flashlight on there. And we can see, let's see, there it is, 900. All right, so it's a pretty big value now. We see a smaller value. So say that's working pretty well. All right, now let's capture that data, just as an example here, into Excel. Now that I know the serial monitor is working, let's close this out. Really important tip here is you can only have one serial connection open at a time. So the Arduino really, um, when the serial monitor is open, I have to go ahead and close that serial connection, and then I can reopen a new one on another program, or I can upload code, right? Or, or I can connect it, in this case, to Microsoft Excel. So let me switch back over here. Close out the serial monitor just so that I can reopen a new connection. So that's looking good. Let's go to Excel. Now, how do I capture data into Excel? I'm going to use Microsoft Data Streamer. To access that, it should be built into most Excel installations. We go to File, then Options. I'm going to go down to Add Ins right here. And then I'm going to go to the bottom here. So there's Excel add-ins. I'm going to click on that drop down. I want to go to COM add-ins. The COM means serial communication, basically. So click on COM add-ins, click go. A new menu pops up. And then you should see Microsoft Data Streamer for Excel. Check that. Click OK. And now we see that at the top up here, I see Data Streamer at the end of my tab. OK, so click on that. Now I go to connect a device. This is why I have to close out the Arduino serial connection, and it should automatically recognize that the Arduino Uno is connected on COM4. I can just verify that when I go over here, click on my Arduino Uno connection, I see COM4, and then I click on Tools, I see COM4. So it's looking good, it's all auto-recognized, but because I can only have one serial connection at a time, I have to make sure that I close out the serial monitor in the Arduino software before I try to start a new one in Excel. So we close that out, then we go to Excel, connect device, Arduino Uno COM4, and voila, we see uh, the data that is about to be piped in. I'm not seeing anything yet. I gotta click Start Data, so then we'll start to see the data streaming in. So that's looking pretty good. Um, I can see that as I cover the photoresistor, I get smaller values. Let go, I get bigger values. We can see it kind of oscillate as I move my hand up and down. So that's looking great. Um, I could even plot this if I wanted to. I go to insert, uh, let's see, do something like this. Okay, so it's looking pretty good, cool. And it's automatically recognizing kind of what I wanted. Moving my hand up and down, getting a little sine wave action going on. Looking pretty good. Okay, so that's sort of like just a real time chart of what the data is looking like. But what I do want to do is actually capture the data for some amount of time. Um, and so to do that, we go to Data Streamer. We have this Record Data button right there. So we're going to go ahead and press that. And then it will uh, start recording the data. I'm going to go ahead and give ourselves a little sine wave here. 
All right, it's still recording that data until I click stop recording. Okay, it's looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my cell phone, get a brighter light going here. Okay, so we can just kind of see how the data is gonna change. Okay, and then when I click stop record, it'll then prompt me where I wanna save my .csv file. And I have the data as comma separated variables with time in milliseconds and the photoresistor reading. And I click stop recording. It prompts me for where I want to save it. I'm just going to save it here in my downloads folder as um, photo resistor test. And it is a comma separated variable file. So it's going to save it right there. Click save. Now I can go ahead and open that up. So I'm going to go up here to downloads. We're going to go to photo resistor test. And there's all my data right here. So from the time I hit start or record data and when I clicked uh, stop recording data. Um, and then a good tip when you're plotting anything in Excel, you may know this already, but I really like this tip, is you do control shift. So if you just do shift, it just highlights data, right? But if I hold shift and then control, press down or up, I can then highlight the entire column or row for that matter. Um, so I'm gonna go down to the bottom with control highlight this with shift, control shift up, shift down, variety of ways you could do that. Um, but I can select all the data. We can then go ahead and see what data I plotted. We can pick really anything, I'll do that. Okay, we can kind of see where the data started and stopped. Um, I did start with a pretty long number of milliseconds and I was in the 70,000 milliseconds before I started collecting data. Um, but we can see when I made a little sine wave down there and then when I turned on my phone flashlight and saw a brighter data spot. Um, and because I have the timestamp, you know, basically the number of sec milliseconds, uh, I can kind of see all that data. Awesome. Um, but yeah, that is how you can connect your Arduino to Microsoft Excel and get the data streamer working. Um, it's probably the, pretty much the fastest way uh, to get data from an Arduino uh, into a data file. Um, so pretty robust, should be installed most Excel installations by default and uh, definitely recommend that. Another option is CoolTerm, which is a open source software that does kind of the same thing. Um, but because it's built right into Excel, it's pretty hard to beat. Um, so hopefully that was useful and uh, happy data collecting.